The next guy on this list is Kevin Owens, and let's just get right into him. So sadly, I only do have one and only figure of Kevin Owens. It is the WrestleMania Kevin Owens. And to be honest, I do have another one. I don't know where it is though, the 91. I have the Series 91 and I don't know where it is. I'm just gonna show this. I'll show the 91, say it's like the one I'm missing if I end up finding it some other time, you know, if I be in a different video, but here it is. Here is the one and only Kevin Owens figure I do own at the moment. And it's a pretty great figure here. KO Mania. He has two there. I don't know why he has a two there, I guess, because uh, maybe at the time they are like KO Mania 2. I don't know. I, I kind of forget. Yeah, he has the United States Championship in this one with the, the accessory of the United States Championship. And you can see the trunks. They're pretty cool. I like how they're just not smooth. They actually look like, you know, they're actually being worn and they're kind of like wrinkly. So that's nice. I think he has knee pads on. I can't really tell if he has knee pads on, but I believe that's what that is. I'm not too sure. Here is the boots. Here's all the attire. I do like this figure. It's pretty good. Uh, it doesn't really look like Kevin Owens that much. The facial hair is pretty cool. The tattoo there. God, the light's killing me right here. But he has the cool tattoo. You can see it there. He doesn't have that tattoo anymore. He does, but I think he, like, did more to it. He has, like, an actual, like, more stuff added onto it. I don't know why he did that. And that great figure. This is a great box. I really like the look of this box. Here's the back. And here's the lineup. I do have that Brutus Beefcake. Uh, I'll show that, you know, whenever I can. I actually have that one signed, so I'm really happy about that. I got that one signed actually by him at Comic-Con one year. So WrestleMania 33 and the new face of the United States Champion. So I don't know whenever he started coming out with like the, the United States Champion stuff, like he, he would have like the, um, the shirt with like his logo and it's like United States Championship. You know, it's like United States colors and stuff. So I don't really know when he started doing that. I forget when he started doing that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it was around that time. It says Chris Jericho too on the back. So this was after, I guess, their friendship died out or whatever. And, you know, they started doing the United States Champion thing oh yeah that was when uh chris jericho beat roman reigns for it that's right yeah that's the only one i do have i do like it a lot the great it's a great figure a great box it just doesn't look like him that much that's the only thing but let's get right into the ones i don't have and the first one we're going to talk about is this kevin owens that again i don't know the series number i believe this might be his first one he has the nxt championship which is really cool like the old nxt championship so i believe this is his first elite. The head sculpt is very weird. It doesn't look like him. The facial hair doesn't, he doesn't look like he has that facial hair. Like it, it looks too, too much. Like he has too much facial hair in this one. The attire is really cool. I do like this like classic KO design. The trunks you can see like, I like how like one of them is black, one of them and then the other one's like half black and half white, which is really cool. And the fight on it is like black and white that's really cool i do like the live tattoo he has on his arm i can't tell if he has the other one on his arm because it, it, it's like off to the side like this so you can't really like see obviously his arm there so i can't really say much about it for a first figure this is really cool i do like the nxt championship it's like a lot of his uh figures actually do have championships so like this one has the nxt one of them has the universal and the last one of course the rest of many one i did show it does have the United States Championship, so that's really cool. And um, really, it's a pretty good figure. It's just that head sculpt, no. That head sculpt's just not that good. But I mean, for his first figure, you can't really complain that much. And the next one is the Series 47A figure. Yeah, the A and the Bs, whatever. This one comes with the Universal Championship, so this is the one I was talking about. And it has the stand, so I believe this is him when he like first won the championship and he was just taking it off of the stand whenever they revealed it was like on the stand and like they had it uncovered and it was like boo you know that that's a terrible terrible looking title it's terrible so i believe this is like him taking it off of that stand the head sculpt's not good again it just doesn't look like him but it's too much facial hair i think the attire is pretty cool uh, another classic look for uh, Kevin Owens, that fight Owens fight thing. He doesn't really do that anymore. Pretty much the same type of trunks, except for it, it's all black and like the fight is gray. It, it, that's really all I can say about it. There's not much I can say except for the Universal Championship is really cool, but it doesn't look as good as all the other championships just because I think the color of it is just kind of weird, right? Not that good. It's an okay figure. The accessories are okay. And it, it, I don't know, it's just not my favorite. And the next one we're going to talk about is the Series 53, and this one's a little bit better. The trunks are really cool. I do like how they like change their trunks a bit. The attire's 
nice. I like this shirt. I like how it's like a different shirt. The cool thing with Kevin Owens is he's always, it always feels like he's gonna have a different shirt because he has like a lot of different types of uh, shirts and stuff like that. Well, I mean, with some of them, some figures, some guys, they don't really change that much. But with Kevin Owens, you can kind of tell he changes a bit. He does come with the Universal Championship again, but that's really about it. I can't really say anything about the tattoos. You can see the live a tiny, tiny bit. Other than that, you can't really see it that well. The attire is cool, though. I, I do like the attire. The head sculpt, it looks a little bit more like him, but I don't know why. It looks like, it, it's weird because it looks like he has like brown hair and like black facial hair, and it's really weird. I don't really like that that much. It, it's just, it, I don't know. It, it, it's just weird. Again, another okay Kevin Owens figure. A little bit better than the last one, but again, it's still just like okay. And the next one we're gonna talk about is the Series 61, and it looks like they're getting a bit better on the Kevin Owens figures. Uh, the head sculpt, it looks more like him than the last one, and the last one looked more like him than the other one. These are getting more better, like they're progressing. The attire's okay. It does match his trunks this time, which is really cool, but it is pretty much like the classic design, but just red. So, I mean, it is still different, but it is also like the same. There's not much I can say about it. He does come with the United States Championship, which is really cool. I do like that. Just like the WrestleMania one that comes with that. So it must they must have came out around the same time, especially since the box is also the same, but different. It's just different design. He also comes with a microphone. It's kind of hard to see because it kind of blends in. You can see he has a microphone in his hands. Uh, so that's kind of cool. He does come with the microphone too. There's not much I can say about the attire. Again, the trunks are the same, but the shirt is different, which is nice. It's just nice to have a different feel. They are getting better, but again, it's just not there yet. And the next one is the Series 66, and they are getting better again. There, it's, it's just progressing. This one kind of looks like it. it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't look like him as much as the last one, but they still got it pretty well. The attire is cool. Again, a different shirt to KO Mania. So this was KO Mania. The other one's KO Mania too. So the attire is kind of bland here, like on the trunks. Uh, I do like this shirt here, the Yup 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 shirt. Uh, I know they were kind of like doing the same thing with like Daniel Bryan. He's like, yep, yep, you know, just just mocking him and stuff like that when he was with Sami Zayn. So that's why he has that shirt there. They have the interchangeable hands. It, it's different than the other ones. I mean, this one's like balled up fist. He has tape around the hands and everything like that. Most of them are like up like this. I don't know why they do that. This one's pretty cool. I do like the difference in the hands. But that's really all I can say about it. It is still progressing a bit, but this one it kind of looks bigger. I don't know why. I just don't really like that that much. And the next one we're going to talk about is the Series 80, and this is what I'm talking about right here. This one is really, really good. I like this one. The tattoo, they have so much detail in the tattoos. It looks like Kevin Owens. Uh, the facial hair is perfect on this one because like now he has a lot more facial hair than he did back then. The hair is good. Uh, the accessories are cool. He has a briefcase, a ladder. The attire is really cool. You know, it's different than all the other ones so that's really really nice the trunks are still the same just everything about this one's really good it looks like him the accessories are good the attire is good it's just a fantastic one the only problem I, I have with this one is just the box really I don't really like these style of boxes but it's not about the box it's about the figure so there's not much I can complain about the figure that much I do like this figure a lot that's really all I'm gonna say about it I, I love it it's great, it does everything right, and it's a very, very good Kevin Owens figure, and probably the best one so far. And the next one is the Series 91, the one that I do have, and I just can't find it. I don't know where the hell it went, but I just can't find it. It's a really, really good figure. Tattoos are very detailed. He has a ladder again. I don't know why he has so many ladders as the accessories now. And he has handcuffs. And he had like the interchangeable hands. You can see like this tattooed on his uh, on his fist here, which is really cool. The attire is cool. The trunks are again the same. You can actually see his boots this time, which doesn't really match the rest of the attire. It just matches the little parts of blue that are on his shirt. But the shirt's really nice. It does look like Kevin Owens again. You could just do a great comparison with the face on the uh, front of the box. It's a really good, really good figure. Uh, it looks like him. Great facial hair, great 
hair period just really a good kevin owens figure another good one so it seems like they progressed they progressed and then now they're really doing well with the kevin owens figures which usually is the complete opposite with everybody they usually like start off well and then they go down go down and it just looks like crap because they're just trying to pump them out as fast as possible this one's really good and i really do dig this one a lot and the last one we're going to talk about is the series 101 and i'm sad to say but they just bad again like it's just not that good the head sculpt's not really there that much it doesn't really look like him the second one's kind of funny the second uh head sculpt it looks more like him i guess because the facial expression the austin 316 shirt is kind of cool a weird fabric i don't know what's going on with that again the trunks are just the same the boot the boots are plain the tattoos are detailed though and on the hands you can see more tattoos more detail on the hands on the interchangeable hands anyways it's cool they have a really cool uh picture here for kevin owens it's an okay figure it's I was gonna say it's pretty good, but it's, it's really not. It's it's an okay one. They kind of degressed on this one, obviously, and this was the latest Kevin Owens figure. So hopefully they go back to like having like super super good ones. I think they just kind of did this one just to like add the second head sculpt. It, it's okay. It's an okay one. It's it's. It's it's okay. That's all I can really say about it. That was all the Kevin Owens figures I do own. Yeah, that's all I can really say about it. It's just it's just okay. And that was all the Kevin Owens figures I do and I don't own. All one of them that I do own. Well, actually two, but I can't find the other one. So that's going to be the end of this video. And the next video, again, if you've been paying attention, you know exactly what the next video is since I am doing all the NXT champions in order. So the next video... You should know what it is if you've been paying attention. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is JC Sanchez out.